the only YouTube coffee mug show that is endorsed by writer slash comedian slash entertainer Andy Martello. Uh, my name is Gordon, and today I'm going to extend two belated birthday wishes. One to Screwdraw, a.k.a. Jesse, on Twitter, who suggested this whole thing and is probably regretting it now. Uh, and my friend Ajay, who's now, I think, out in Boston. Um, and there's a story behind that, and I alluded to it way back in episode one. And it's it's this classic diner mug with Route 66 on it. And there's a funny story about how I acquired this mug, as are they all. Um, years ago, I had moved from Chicago to Eugene, Oregon, because I was engaged. The engagement did not work out. Uh, it's kind of hard for for something to work out when the other person is essentially cheating on you with somebody else, but not going to go there. But I moved to St. Louis. I had lived with my friends, uh, Craig and his my friend Craig and his wife, Linda, and we, all three of us met at a Dark Shadows convention, and there's a wacky story that I'm not going to go into. Um, but um, eventually I moved out, got on my own, and I got active in an organization called Metropolis St. Louis, which, for those of you in Chicago, the best analogy would be, imagine Chicago Nerd Social Club, except it's run by white male hipsters. That's probably the, the best analogy I can think of. And through activities, I met Ajay, who, um, you know, it, he, he was in St. Louis, and he was going through a rough personal time. And I got the mug, um, he had had a garage sale because he was getting rid of stuff, and uh, yeah, and I think I actually bought the mug off of him. And then the next time, he didn't wasn't able to sell enough because people in St. Louis don't need to go there. But uh, he was giving stuff away, so I ended up getting uh, like a, a instant pot and some other stuff. But Ajay and I were both on the board, and. You know, and Metropolis was like my major social outlet in St. Louis. I met all sorts of, it's on the board, met all sorts of cool people like Darcella, um, people I worked with, you know, um, Mike, who was kind of a, a combination of, how can I describe him? He was like, it was like, he was like a, a transporter accident involving Don Draper from Mad Men, no, um, Roger Sterling from Mad Men. And the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. That, that's the best way I can describe them. There's Delisa and Carl and Harold and Julie, who was the woman who hired me. Uh, she was their HR slash development person. We ended up working together on Metropolis and something different. But that's a whole different story in a much longer video. But Ajay and I, you know, we weren't best friends. Uh, but we, you know, we got along. And my favorite memory of him was that... <sighs> One year, he was kind of depressed because he went through some relationship stuff, and he wanted to get all his single friends together to celebrate, to, you know, kind of hang out, but he didn't want to do Valentine's Day, so he did an anti-Valentine's Day party. And so it was all, you know, you didn't, you, you couldn't be coupled. That was the only condition. You couldn't be seeing someone. And we did all sorts of foods and, and um food that you wouldn't think was romantic and booze that you wouldn't think was romantic. So, um, you, we had like Funyuns and, uh, White Castle sliders. Um, I think, and I think beer, there's this, this really cheap local beer. I can't, it wasn't Shalafli cause that's good beer. Um, but it was, I think it's like not old Milwaukee, but Milwaukee's best or something like that. Um, and it was, uh, I wish I could tell you that there was drunken debauchery, and all sorts of colorful stories, but I can't. Um, I can't tell you that at that point I had uh, confessed that I had a crush on one of my female friends, um, and she, the crush had subsided, and I don't want to go into the details because that's her story to tell, but, you know, worked out well, um, but I would not recommend telling someone you, that you have feelings for doing it under the influence. It just doesn't work. Um, played spin a bottle for the first time in my 30s. Uh, yeah, so it, I got to catch up on certain developmental high, uh, milestones. But, um, yeah, and it's hard in the midst of uh, this whole COVID-19 pandemic. It's easy to get nostalgic for that time, and I, I do miss it at times. 
I think right now I'm kind of glad that I'm not there. Part of it is when you're caring for a parent, it's hard to do it, you know, long distance. The other issue is just, I think my life has gotten much richer while I was in Chicago. It's easy to dismiss St. Louis because at the time, living there was like dating someone with really severe self-esteem issues. You know, it starts off with, you're reassuring. It's, it's, oh, don't worry. Don't talk about yourself that way. You're okay. And then as it progresses, you're, you're saying things like, look, here's these great things about you. You need to see these great things about you. And then after a while for me, it was like, you know, just give up. Quit your whining, okay? Um, but I can't really hold on to that attitude because the people that, um, I care about are still there. They've moved on, so it wouldn't be like, you know, there's not going to be a 10th annual anti-valence Valentine's Day party, but I do miss the people. You know, I miss working with Darcella. I miss some of the people that I got to hang out with and relate to. And I, and I catch up and we follow up on Facebook. But, um, you know, that mug has particularly bittersweet memories. Uh, but, um, you know, that's pretty much it. And this is actually take two of this video, because take one was a little snarky and I wasn't, it just wasn't appropriate. But I want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that cool YouTube stuff. Be free to share this on show, social media. And then at the end card that'll come afterwards, you'll see my Ko-Fi, my Patreon. I am a writer. I'm a blogger. Um, you know, right now we're all, we're all going through rough times, but I'm always looking for work, um, and I've got some small-scale stuff that I'm working on, but hey, feel free to, to join my community. Thank you very much for watching, and talk to you later.